When it comes to violence at protests, people on the left will often disagree. Some will see riots as a legitimate response to state violence. Others will think violence is always wrong. Many will see protesters burning vans and smashing windows as no moral disaster, but rather a public relations one. They, these are all options which are widespread on, on the left. I think we can have productive disagreement about these questions. What you don't normally see among progressives, though, is applauding cops as they swing batons at crowds. But that's what Labour's Shadow Minister for Further Education did this afternoon. Now, he quote tweeted a video by journalist Billy Stockwell of clashes between cops and protesters at Bristol's march against the policing bill and wrote, this is Toby Perkins, this looks to me like entirely appropriate use of the baton, a good example of proportionate policing under extreme pressure. Well done with free clapping emojis. Now, let's take a look at the video which Perkins thinks um, was a great example of proportionate policing worthy of, of, of a round of applause. Now, whatever your position, about policing and protest, you want to abolish the cops, do you think the cops do a good job? I think the idea of clapping at that situation, which, you know, it looks quite difficult for everyone involved actually, but seeing that as something to celebrate, I think just seems completely sadistic. I mean, there's someone really swinging his baton, people really getting hurt. I mean, to me, that doesn't look particularly defensive if you're swinging your baton like that. It's not someone holding up their, their shield. That's a real, you know, that could cause real damage. And you've got a Labour MP here, Shadow Minister, and a shadow minister who represents young people, shadow minister for, for further education, and he's giving a round of applause as a, as a cop hits a protester with a baton. Now, obviously, that didn't cause any um, controversy today. The tweet that caused controversy, or actually it was an interview that caused controversy, was Nadia Whittam saying, actually, maybe I want to work out what the facts are before I start condemning people. That's seen as beyond the pale. Uh, a Labour MP who's giving a round of applause for a cop hitting someone with a stick, that's completely acceptable. People are saying Nadia Whitman should lose the whip, this guy. No one's even saying he should be, be forced to apologise or resign from the front bench. Pathetic, isn't it? When you see somebody cheering on bullying, which is being done by other people, there's something about that which I just find so unchic. Do you know what I mean? It's just so mm. kind of pathetic. You're clapping from the sidelines at, you know, these kind of, you know, puffed up, drunk on their own power, cops swing baton around, but, you know, batons around. That's not, I don't think that, you know, it's becoming of a shadow cabinet minister, not just on the politics of it, which are, of course, atrocious, but just because it's so pathetic. It's like Randall, the school snitch from recess. You know, you don't even have the kind of gumption to do it yourself, but you're kind of, you know, in the sidelines going, oh, I approve of this. Um, it's also come to my attention that Toby Perkins um, has said some, some pretty offensive things uh, in relation to the GRT community. He said that he wouldn't want a traveler's encampment um, to set up near him he apologized afterwards um after there was an outcry from the grt community but when you sort of put those two things together um the applauding of indiscriminate baton strikes uh against protesters who are there in part because of a bill which will criminalize and really crack down on on the grt community i wonder if there are some connections here if not consciously but then unconsciously about a kind of desire to see um, more authoritarian uh, measures from the state against those who are deemed to be, you know, disruptive and, and criminal, uh, whether those people are deemed to be that way because they're protesters or if they're deemed to be that way because they're part of the GRT community. Mm, that's really dark. I hadn't thought of that connection, actually. I mean, my interpretation of it was, and I, I, I think that's very valid. I didn't know about those previous tweets from him or previous articles, previous comments. I mean, my interpretation of this was it was more standard, just sort of like Labour trying to sort of appeal to parts of the electorate, but sort of just ending up going too far and looking kind of stupid. So obviously you've got, you know, Keir Starmer said, we have to look like we support the police. We have to look like we're, you know, we don't want to defund the police. Um, we don't want to abolish the police. And they've ended up saying, oh, we have to now clap everything they do. So you have a situation, you, you now have front bench shadow ministers 
you've got a cop hitting someone with a baton, like literally beating someone up and they're like, oh yeah, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. We love that too. We love that too. And then you, you can sort of just imagine them sort of, you know, how far does it have to go where they won't be, you know, giving this huge round of applause because they think it makes them look good. And sooner or later, we're going to have a situation where they're there giving this huge round of applause because they think that's what you have to do to get elected. And then everyone's just looking at them like, guys, no, no one thinks that's cool. Like, well, where does this end if your instant reaction to seeing police violence is to say, well, we're the Labour Party. We want to get elected. That means whatever the situation, we have to side with the cop. I mean, it could go really badly wrong, couldn't it? Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, it could, because one is unprincipled. It's so unprincipled. And two, um, you're never going to be able to out water cannon Pretty Patel. You know, there's always going to be a politician on your right flank who can, who can go much further. And the thing is, is that they really mean it. You know, Priti Patel has previously spoken out in favor of bringing back capital punishment. Um, you know, that goes to a place which, you know, I hope no Labour shadow minister would ever want to go. So it's just, it's inauthentic, it's pathetic, and it's also not even that successful as an electoral strategy. But what's more, I think that it is a, a real insult considering Labour's own history. So when you think of the violence meted out to minors, when you think about what happened at Orgreave, when you think about what happened at Hillsborough, and all of these events have really played into the politicization of their membership and have shaped Labour's history and self-image and, and connection to working class struggle in a really powerful way. For then a, a Labour shadow minister to turn around and say, you know, I applaud baton strikes or to symbolically endorse indiscriminate baton strikes um, is an insult to that history or, or a sign that you never took it all that seriously in the first place. Um, and this, is, this isn't about whether you consider uh, the events last night in Bristol to be either morally or strategically right. That's entirely a separate issue. It's a measure, I think, and a very basic political test um, of whether somebody is serious about progressive politics um, is how they react to images of state violence. And anyone who applauds or celebrates it cannot be trusted. Mm -hmm.